I think it's about time we address the big elephant in the room. Nope, not that elephant, but this one. You see, this black and purple block that so many people have written to me about in the comments and they have issues with it. So today I'm gonna show you exactly all of the things I can come to think of that causes this to happen. So the purple and black texture, yes, it's actually not a cube. It's a texture that's applied to any model that's broken inside of the game or that hasn't been given a texture inside of the game. It's known as a debug texture and it's there to tell you that something is wrong. But I should also mention that when you add a custom model and you get a cube, then that model is also broken. Or, well, I'll get to that in a moment. And now when we know that it's broken, you may ask yourself, well, how then do I fix it? And the answer to that question is not as easy as you may think, because it can be a bunch of different things. And now I'm gonna try to list them all for you in this video so that you can figure out on your own behalf which may be the solution that you need to use to fix your problem. If you do find this video helpful, please consider subscribing and leaving a like below because it may help somebody else find this video. Since the number one and most common issue is so common that I'd have to repeat it in every coming step, I'm gonna take it now with you instead. Minecraft is case sensitive, so don't use capital letters. Whenever you name a file, use an underline or a dash instead. It works with Optifine and you may go, not a problem. But trust me, the moment you stop using capital letters, the game will love you a lot more for it. Issue number one, you have added a custom model to the game via a resource pack. You can see your custom model inside of the game, but it has this texture. Since we can tell that your model isn't broken and if you haven't used any capital letters, it's likely gonna be one or more of these. Make sure that your texture actually is inside of your resource pack. Open up your model in the text editor and check if it's actually looking for the texture in the designated texture path. You could tell because the folder path is the same as where your texture is located. Also make sure that the dashes are facing in the right direction. And make sure that it's just the texture's name and not with the file type added. Your texture should be a .png file. And if it's not, well... <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, because Blockbench automatically exports .pngs. Issue number two. You have made a custom model, and it comes across as this inside of the game. While you should also fact check the issues provided in the previous step, it's going to be one of these. If you don't see your model at all in Bedrock Edition, it's not the model that's broken, it's something else. These solutions are relevant for all code in the game, so the error is likely the same. The code is broken. And this can be a small, tiny mistake or a fundamentally huge error. And we're gonna find out by looking through these steps. Number one, you are missing a comma or you have an extra comma somewhere. And I'm gonna show you some of the cases where this can apply. When you open up your model in the text editor, you're gonna notice that it's built up with code. I'm not gonna teach you to program, but code can be looked at as a pattern. Each section of code is separated by a comma if there is another section of code below it. The final section of code should not have a comma after it. The most common areas where this happens is inside of Java Minecraft when you want to add a custom model data predicate override to a model and you forget to use these commas correctly. Here's an example of how it's done correctly. If you don't have a comma between these sections, that's an issue. And if you have a comma after this section, that's an issue. It is also fairly common that this happens when you remove code inside of the file or when you copy code over from another file. And it's not just the commas. There are a few different significant components that many people usually miss out on or add an extra without noticing it shouldn't be there. These are hard brackets. When you make predicate overrides, you use hard brackets outside of your smaller containers. A container is something that is captured within hard brackets regular brackets or parentheses. Wing brackets. We use wing brackets for everything. And after an end bracket is where you would normally find a comma if there is more code below or not a comma if the end bracket is somewhere in a final segment of the file. Round bracket parentheses. While other coding languages use this round brackets, we don't use them inside of our JSON definitions. We would solve this by using wing brackets instead. Semicolons. While other coding languages usually end a line on a semicolon, we use commas to end a line with if there is something after it. Don't use semicolons. Regular columns. Regular columns are used where there are definitions, and these are the only places where they're actually used. Quotation marks. No, we use quotation marks literally everywhere. Make sure that you use 
quotation marks. Don't use any similar markings. It's specifically quotation marks. Every file path has quotation marks around them, at the start and at the end. Make sure that when you look through your file, that there are quotation marks where there are file paths, or the game is not gonna look for them. Issue number three. You are working with block states, and you already know that your texture works and that your model works because you've tried them out on something else. Well, can you guess what? One of the previous steps that I mentioned in the coding segment a second ago is gonna apply to your block state file. Block states are furthermore exclusive to Java Minecraft, and if you want to do something similar in Bedrock Edition, then check out the block wizard. Issue number four. The biggest secret of them all. And if you've skipped ahead in this video to learn about it, you're in for a treat. It's gonna help you right here and now, but it's also gonna be super good for you in the future. Here's the trick. You go back and rewatch the entirety of this video, take in all of the information that I'm giving to you in this format for free, every step, pause when you need to, learn and listen, and learn by doing.